tuning into my channel today I wanted to film a little segment about the power of makeup and how it can just basically change your whole face and it really is all about blending and it's just about building that color a lot of people get these really pretty colors and they get scared of it because they pack it on too heavily at first and it doesn't turn out as beautiful as it could so this video I just wanted to show you about the power of the colors and how you don't need a whole whole lot to make a beautiful color beautiful. So this video was inspired by Kylie Jenner just because I loved this one picture I saw of her. She was so matte, so fresh faced and she really didn't do a big cat eye and big bold eyeliner and dark heavy colors. She just really stayed fresh and light and that's my favorite and it's really sandy. So I just was inspired by that. So I really hope you guys like my video please subscribe and thanks for watching so here I am using my brow whiz and I'm gonna also be using my pomade first I'm going in with my pomade and I'm going in from the middle of my eye up into the arch and basically all I am doing is I'm using these but very light swiping motions like feathered motions and I have complete control of this wand because it is so little so it's absolutely my favorite and all you're gonna do is you're gonna use a very light hand and you're going to do light light little motions and then you're going to go in and you're going to brush it with the end of your brow is or you can use any little eyebrow brush but I really like this one because the bristles are very tiny and I have very thin eyebrows so it doesn't take off a lot of the pomade basically I'm going to brush the pomade down when I get to the end of my eyebrow when I get to the front of my eyebrow, I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to work my way up and I'm going to do little motions out into the middle of my eyebrow. When I get all the way to the very front, I'm going to go straight up with it. I'm going to use a very, very light hand and I'm going to go back and forth and do this until I get the depth, uh, depth of the color that I want. Like I said, put a little, little tiny bit on your brush and build that shadow because if you put too much on at one time, it's going to look like your eyebrows are all one color, there's going to be no depth to it, there's going to be no dimension. So what you want to do is you just, you just want to do tiny light motions. It will take you about 10 minutes to do both of your brows, but it will be completely worth it, especially for my girls that have no brows like me. So keep going back and forth with it. I like to use the Brow Whiz pencil just for the front of my eyebrow because it really helps fill in the little spots where the pomade can't really reach because it's a little bit thicker. So this is going to really just fill in those spots and it's going to give it a nice fade in the front. I'm going to use this MAC roll color and this is another part of the segment that I wanted to show you that looks like such a scary color but it's so beautiful when you just build it and you don't just kind of put a lot on your brush and put it on. So all I'm doing is I'm going in with literally a dab of it and I'm going into the crease of my eyes and I'm not doing circular windshield wiper motions. I'm basically just dabbing it onto my eyes very very lightly 
just because this color is very, very pretty and I'm not using a lot on my brush. I don't really want to move it around because I don't want it falling underneath my eyes. I really just want it to be exactly where I put it because the color that I'm going to use next is very liquidy and that can move around a lot. So these colors on my eyes, I want them to stay exactly where I put them. And I am going to blend it in a little bit. But like I said, as you watch me, you will see that all I keep doing is just going little by little, putting it on my brush and applying it to my eyes in the outward crease of my eyes. This next color is a little bit of a deeper brown and you can use any deep brown that you want. And I'm putting that onto the crease of my eyes just because it's gonna help the liquid that I'm about to put on it stick a little bit better. And it's just a nice underneath color in case anything gets moved around that's when I put the liquid on top. Next up, I'm using this Revlon Photo Ready, I believe. I will put the description in the details below. And it basically comes on a little wand, but the color is very, very strong and pigmented. So I'm basically going to tap it onto my finger, see what it looks like, mess around with it a little bit just to kind of feel the consistency out. And then I'm going to put it on my hand, onto my ring finger. Here you can see it's very, very pretty. It's like sandy. I love it. It's really pretty for those girls with brown eyes like me. And you're just basically going to tap it into the crease of your eyes. Or not into the crease, I'm sorry, the lids, hello. And you're just going to tap it. And like I said, this is another spot where it's a scary color, but you just want to build that color because when you take the time to build, the color comes out so pretty and it's really, really worth it. So just kind of keep tapping it on from your finger to the your lid and when you get the amount that you want, that depth, then you're good to go. Today I'm going to do my contour a little bit different and I'm going to try to give myself a little bit more of rounded cheeks. So you're going to start from your hairline, work your way down, do tiny motions and go in with that gray color again. And when you get to your cheek, instead of keeping it at a very rigid contour, you're just going to kind of go in half circles around your cheek to give it more of that roundish appeal.
So right here we are going in with our eyes and we are not going to give ourselves a cat eye. We are going to apply this gel liner right to the hairline of your lashes just because we want it to look a little bit dark so all the colors fade together but we don't want an in-depth liner today. so much for watching i hope you like this video please subscribe come find me on instagram or twitter and let me know what you guys want to see next thanks guys